uh, these these were ten pounds, ten Br British pounds, G B P. Um, I don't know how much they'd cost in the U.S. or the rest of Europe or wherever, but um, um, again, gotta stop saying that. They didn't come with a memory card. Uh, they came with obviously an integrated battery. It's like a, a little rechargeable unit. Just plug the glasses into USB port of your PC. So whilst you're transferring the video footage, um, it also recharges. I did buy myself a memory card. Uh, I did buy myself a memory card for this, because uh, otherwise it won't record. Uh, the first one I bought was a, I think it was a grade four, uh, four gigabyte card. Now the glasses on full battery will record for an hour. Um, that's how long the battery lasts. So I wanted to make sure that I had enough space on them should I want to record for an hour. And strangely enough, four gigabytes is roughly an hour's recording. So um, I have gone and replaced that memory card with a higher speed memory card. Um, when you look at memory cards online, you can buy them at different gigabyte sizes but also at different class ratings. So you'll see some that are class four, class six, class eight, and class 10. Uh, the higher the class, the faster the megabytes per second uh, writing speed. So the faster they can actually write to the memory card. The benefit of this, if you're recording video, as, I mean, especially HD video, this isn't HD, obviously. If you're recording HD video, then the megabytes per second is essential otherwise you'll end up with dropped frame rate you'll end up with instead of 30 frames a second you'll get 30 frames a second with two or three frames missing so you get stuttering and stammering especially if I'm yattering away and it's recording audio as well just all of that data dropping to the memory card is gonna gonna require uh, a fast write speed. So I've replaced this memory card with a class 10 memory card so that I'm guaranteed that any performance issues that I have will definitely be with the glasses and it's cheap Chinese or Japanese, I think it's actually Chinese, um, circuitry and, and, and quality of the parts rather than the memory card itself. So that's a little more fair example of what's actually going on. So yes, so it's got a four gig memory card in there. It's a class 10. Um, it's a Samsung, if that's of any interest to anybody. It's also got, as I said, a one hour battery life. Um, I've experimented with the nighttime capabilities of this camera. They aren't fantastic. Um, they, they're surprisingly good for what it is, but not amazing. I have considered whether or whether or not infrared is picked up by this camera. Uh, a lot of a lot of cameras have got an infrared filter to protect the sensor from infrared light. Now. If the camera hasn't got an infrared filter, at night time what you can do is you can shine infrared lights everywhere and pick up some of the reflections. It's like shining a torch on the world and recording what you see. Thank you very much. Uh, it's like shining a torch on the world and seeing what you see, but because infrared is low on our visual spectrum, we can't see infrared very well. If a camera hasn't got the filter, it's night vision of sorts. Um, it's a cheap way of having a bit of fun with something that, I mean, you can kind of see the red light. Um, a way to test the camera 
is uh, if you get your TV remote control, which uses infrared normally to, to change the channels on your TV, start recording on the camera, aim the remote control at the camera itself, and press a few buttons. See if the end of the remote control lights up, because if it doesn't, your camera has an infrared filter. It blocks out the infrared to protect the camera from being damaged. If it does light up with what looks like a sort of whitey kind of light in the camera, then you know that the infrared spectrum hasn't been blocked out and you can have a bit of fun with nighttime stuff. Now, you can buy infrared LEDs, you can buy infrared torches. So you could quite easily make yourself a little nighttime recording device out of a cheap camera. So I want to test that. Um, obviously, I can't see at night, but my eyes can adapt to the light, whereas this camera doesn't have any aperture adjustment, any focal adjustment, it's fixed. So whacking a little infrared, bright infrared LED on the side of the glasses might be able to illuminate the surrounding areas so the video can capture what I'm doing even though it will look different. Um, let's get past here. So yeah, I mean I don't know if you guys can see exactly what I'm looking at. I'm looking straight at the car ahead of me. It's slap bang in the centre of my vision. Um, I don't know if it's slap bang in the centre of your vision. Hopefully this video has been useful. Uh, it's been a kind of calibration process for me just to make sure my glasses are still working. I haven't used them in quite some time. And hopefully the information that I've given you, not really that great, I know, may give you some kind of idea as to the capabilities of these cheap glasses. They are cheap, as I said, 10 pounds, 10 great British pounds. Um, sound recording, the resolution isn't HD, it is not HD. If you see 720 on the spec sheet, it isn't 1280 by 720 HD resolution, it is 720 by 480, which is a standard definition. Lots of places that sell these, they don't understand the product they're selling, they advertise them incorrectly, you buy them, then get upset that they're not what you thought they were. But, I mean, come on, for 10 quid, it's not a bad deal. You get a camera that does reasonably well in most situations. You can stick them on your head and go anywhere. You can do some quite fun things with it. Take them paintballing. First person shooter style paintballing would be awesome with these on. I saw a video recently where someone had a GoPro on their head, like I said earlier. Sticking a GoPro on your head, it's a weird perspective and your shadow looks funny. People spot what you've done. With these on, it's a little more difficult to work out what's actually happened, like how you've achieved it, which I think is quite fun. Anyway, I'm going to leave it at this. Um, I hope it has been informative. As I said, I'm going to probably do a couple more videos. Uh, any ideas what you'd like to see, any questions, queries you've got, add them to the comments below. Uh, subscribe if you think I'm interesting enough, clearly not. Uh, but by all means, subscribe, comments below, questions, uh, any, any suggestions for trying something out. I've already done a nighttime video as I said, and uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next video.